Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wandering Village, where we are here with Katori Village, riding on the back of their deeply beloved Ambu, Nu. And Nu is actually working her way through a mountain range right now, and potentially right into the waiting arms of a gigantic thunderstorm that could wait, like be waiting for us. I'm very nervous about that, and beginning to wonder if there was going to be thunderstorms and there was going to be all of these spore clouds if maybe we actually would have been better off going a different direction oh what's this oh yeah and she still has that frustratingly low digestion issue poor new because she ended up eating all of these tasty looking stones that looked just like her mushrooms i think it's really interesting to see how new is i think potentially not quite as I don't want to say intelligent, but maybe she was desperate. We, we, we're going to try to be a little bit on the kinder side, but this was very telling when she ate these stones that she wasn't a level of awareness, we'll say. I'm really trying not to say that she wasn't smart enough to notice that they weren't the food that she really wanted. Maybe she was just that desperate. Uh, but it does tell me that potentially Katori Village has an essential role in mutually benefiting Nu at being able to try to keep her safe from things like the spore clouds, starvation, when she gets sick. We can take care of her just like she is taking care of us by providing us with a safe home to be able to travel through this ravaged world in. So now we're on our way to the south. We are halfway way to our big goal of making it 1,000 kilometers on news back before we kind of assess where we're at and see where the early access development of the wandering village is. Uh, and I just noticed we have no food. Whoops. <laughs> All right, enough yammering, Siri. I oh, that's why we have no food. Our farms got destroyed. Oh my gosh. I legitimately did not notice so many things got destroyed. When did this happen? This must have happened last time, and I just completely forgot. Everybody, everybody, builders, everybody. Like, I need all of all of our, our, our villagers to switch to builders right now. Oh my goodness, everything is destroyed, our bakery. We need our bakery up. What the heck, we need these farms done like yesterday. Oh my gosh, Miller Jennifer has now gotten the farm fixed. How are our kitchens? Are our kitchens still producing? <clears throat> Let's see. So one of the kitchens is working on it very loosely, but I think what we need to work on right now, ugh, the pantries are full of wheat. We need this bread. Like that's really what we desperately need right now is actually getting this bread going. Yay, Anu is actually feeling a little bit better. She's not feeling constipated from those stupid mushroom stones anymore. It looks like some of our chefs are bringing the beets back in. How many berries do we have? I don't think we actually have enough berries to make a lot of berry moussely. So let's see, three berries make five moosely. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna add, with so few meals, I'm actually gonna add a couple more bakers in though. Well, I'm gonna add two bakers and then we'll switch to have, or excuse me, two kitchen workers. Let's get more beets started because we have a lot of beets. And then as soon as we have this bakery, we will go ahead and just have tons and tons of baking going on. And I think we might actually go ahead and build a second windmill. I think that that would actually help us out because we have so much wheat already stored and we have quite a bit of wheat um, that we could possibly grow because I think it would grow okay here. Oh no, oh no, okay, can we run now? Run, okay, she's running. Are we gonna be able to out, like outrun this storm? Oh, I think the timing is just going to be awful. Let's send one of our excavation parties away. One party is off working on the ruined settlement. One is working on the shrine. Oh, oh no, the strong thunderstorm. Not again, no. Everything we just had. Oh, this is terrible, you guys. This is just horrible. People might starve to death because our, literally as the wind is blowing. Oh, I hope nobody gets blown off news back. Oh my gosh, and all of our, our water. Back to work, everybody. All right, this needs, okay, we'll go ahead. Let's see, oh, thank goodness, the bakery is, is functional. And we've got people baking bread and hopefully like producing a lot of bread. Um, 
let's see anything else that we need to go ahead okay the doctor and the herbalist and our kitchens and our pantry i'm really scared of the fact that okay oh and she's so tired i'm sorry new she was running so fast to try to get us out of here several buildings have collapsed oh my gosh i hope we don't end up getting in that spore cloud on top of everything too Oh, everybody is so hungry. What about- Oh, news food! Okay, we need to make sure- Actually, I guess these could be, like, secondary. Um, and then, like, lowest priority might be some of the houses, but people are really getting a lot of things done. Good. And this can be lowest priority, too. Okay, hopefully we'll get all of the farms, like, functional again. And I'm hoping- The bakery's already got 15 bread. Oh, she's so tired. Okay, let's make sure, this is medium ground toxicity where she's laying. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of abandoned shrines. I feel like we must be passing through a, a really old ancient civilization, just the ruins of an ancient civilization. Oh, she's got to have some sleep. She does need to sleep. And we are gonna need to worry about the toxicity here. Okay. We really need to make sure we have a couple doctors ready to go. And we need all of our herbalists on it. Well, actually, okay, we only need maybe the usual herbalist. I'll add one extra herbalist for now. Um, and then have the builders rebuilt everything. Okay, the air wells are getting rebuilt right now. News food is going to be rebuilt pretty soon too. Hang in there, new. All right, the air wells are filling back up. The water is still full. All right, while we're here and while we need to kind of catch our breath for a second, let's actually look. I think we are probably going to go to the north and push our way north in order to try to intercept this band of poisoned nomads who are going to need some help. All right, I'm actually pretty glad that we're going to have more herbs planted if we have some poison nomads we need to help with. We already have a couple of the material storage spots for extra herbs. Ooh, the scavenging party just came back with the 25 bread from some ruins. I have no idea how old that bread must have been. Also, storage is full. We have a ton of biogas. That may really help us out if we end up in that spore cloud. I'm going to turn the biogas off for just a little bit here. And I, I think we should probably build... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, over here is where I'm also going to turn on the biogas because this is the decontaminator that we can turn on in case of emergencies with the spore clouds. Oh, I'm so proud. I think Elder Jack and Elder David are working really hard to try to like guide the guide everyone as we're trying to figure out like how to prepare for the future. And I'm really proud of like what they're doing. All right, wheat is being planted by some of these guys. Beets are being planted by others. This is not a great temperature for either of those things, but we're doing our best. Bread is being frantically made. Flour. All right, I'm going to turn everything off here except for the wheat and the bread. There we go. And we're just going to keep that going like as quickly as we can. And then I'm going to turn wheat off for this pantry and flour off for these pantries. Okay, and actually that means I need flour over here too. There we go. And hopefully that will speed things up over here as well. Oh, Ambu's wagging her tail in her sleep. Oh, no. All right. Three hours away might be some more... Oh, I should have gone over to the shrine. Oh, I totally forgot about that. That's okay. The people picking up some of our... Oh, is that spore cloud getting really close to us? Oh, it looks like New fell asleep right before the spore cloud. Hopefully, oh, if it keeps going, it might miss us. Okay, hopefully that happens. Hopefully it misses us. All right, so let's see. Now that we have done all of that, I'm trying to think what our next action should be. If we're getting ready to go back in the desert, maybe building some more water tanks would be a good idea. Uh, probably upgrading more of, okay, let's switch from builders to carriers for you guys. 
And then let's do general workers for you guys. And then where's our last? Over here, the worker transport. All right, we're going to do harvesters. General workers for these guys too. No, we'll do harvesters actually. And New has actually been quite busy <laughs> growing a lot of trees, which is great and I'm very happy about, but I'm gonna clear just a few of them because they're starting to grow into the space that our herbalist <laughs> need to plant in. Oh, here we go. Elder Jack and Elder David have accessed more research and you know what I wanna do? Okay, we have enough knowledge now to do the scout tower and the cottages. So the cottages don't provide as much room for people to live in as the huts do, but it improves productivity of the inhabitants and also provides decent protection from the poison air, which I think would be really, really wonderful. And since we are literally looking at this huge thing of poison right in front of us, let's do the cottage next. And warehouse stores various material. Okay, warehouse might be really useful in the near future. We have researched a lot of things, if not everything. And this is, again, just the tip of the iceberg of so many things like training birds and flying merchants that you can go ahead and visit, deeper lore, so much more that is actually going to be showing up in the wandering village as the months go by. So my goal right now is to just kind of like really max out a ton of our resources, take good care of our village, and then hopefully get Katori village up to, oh, and let's go out to scout. All right, anything else we can scout right now? I can't send a scout out for the poison nomads. All right, we'll just have to hold on to one of our scout parties. Wait, 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 can I get over here? No, not quite. Uh, but our goal right now is to try to get to that 1,000 kilometers and see if we have researched as many things as we hope to. All right, getting the wheat planted. Good. We've got a lot of flour. We're getting more and more bread. And I guess part of the key at keeping food variety would be trying to plant a ton of stuff. Ooh, you know what we could do to get some food variety? Up here, can I plant? Tomatoes won't grow right now. Beets will grow, wheat will grow, tomatoes will not grow. But we're about to get to a place where tomatoes might grow. All right, we'll stay on beets for a little while. <laughs> okay, how are we doing up here? We've got a lot of mushrooms. We're making some ombu food. I think we can actually work. Herbalist Netherheart's waiting for a doctor. 52 people, good. So we haven't lost anybody in the village. Very relieved to see that. And then biogas over here. These people were assigned as harvesters. I'm gonna switch them to general workers. And I'm gonna switch these guys to carriers because I feel like we need a lot of carriers. Okay, yeah, okay. So I wonder if we should actually make more bakeries. Just like we have multiple kitchens and I'm beginning to think we should stockpile a lot of food so that we have more food variety. What do our villagers think about everything? The housing quality could be a lot better but we're working on researching that. Four people are currently poisoned because we've been here for so long. I think we have a lot of our food Oh, I can't see. Hi! Yay! A little a farmer, a little royal elf is now feeling better. That's good. Yeah, and if we're gonna get more food, like berry moosely and stuff, there's only one way to get berries, and that's with the berry farmers. I guess, should I? Ooh, this might be a good spot for more berry farmers, or over here. Huh. And I've been thinking it might be useful to have a kitchen up here <laughs> to try to like stretch people on either side. I've actually been thinking about that for a long time. So maybe I'll put a kitchen up here real quick. Berry gatherer. Would this be a good spot for a berry gatherer? Let's see. Efficiency would be 40%. And down here would be 49%. Let's see, 13%. 22%. What about over here? Ooh, 58%. Oh, that's because it would overlap with more berries. Well, hang on. Do I just not have enough berry farmers? Reproduction. A berry. What happens when a berry bush like reaches total reproduction? 
Also, I am so glad that New is like so exhausted because I think the Spore Cloud is going to get out of our way. If that remains true with the thunderstorm, I don't know, <laughs> but we'll have to see. All right, what happens when this berry bush reproduction 92%? What does that mean? Do they just take like forever 97%? So what happens when my berry gatherer, okay, 10%. Wow! Is that how long it takes? That's a long time! But I wonder if having a berry gatherer actually helps to take care of of the berries, like, and get them to breed more. Here, we'll do one over here because I think that's worth it. And then I do think it's worth putting a kitchen in here. Most likely. Uh, especially if we switch that kitchen over to potentially storing something. Um, like like tomatoes maybe we could work on tomatoes with this little farm and get more of that food variety that everybody wants and then i do think it's worth putting a pantry in over here as well i'll put it should i put it next to the kitchen yeah let's put it next to the kitchen and then if we're gonna enter should i get more water tanks i'm thinking maybe we'll put in some more water tanks too because they're useful for the farms um Hmm. Gosh, it just gets so interesting when it's like, it would be great right over here. However, I already have a bunch of buildings there. Do I want to demolish them? Hmm. Hmm. And I have been debating getting another mycologist. You know, I mean, sometimes we get these fields really full, but it might be nice just to be able to transfer from the water tank. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm overthinking it. There's just a lot of thinking to do while, while she's sleeping, which I find kind of interesting. All right, decontaminator, scavenger hut, hornblower. Do I want to get another mycologist installed down here? Who can just, like, get to work at, at trying to gather more mushrooms? Maybe, because how many balls of food? We have zero ombu food. No, we have four standard ombu food, like, finished, and another one on the way. Beth is currently eating. Oh, Beth, you're, you're like our mushroom, uh, mushroom chef Beth, who is creating, I think, another ball of food for our beloved new. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. So now we have another ombu food. It's just not showing up for some reason. And that gives us four. Are they going in storage somewhere? I think, yeah, they're going in storage into the feeding trebuchet, which is really good for us. All right, liquid ombu food. I don't need stone slabs or, or well, I do need the herbs over here if the doctors need to treat them. And we have our little tent. Oh my gosh, I really do need to replace those tents. <laughs> All right, this is kind of exciting. We're starting to get some more things built again. Um, I think we might want to work on like the tree nursery pretty soon. We can't really pet new right now while she's sleeping. So we're going to just leave her be to kind of rest for now. Uh, we're getting to the point where we can actually start working on the boulders. And I think, yay, our scavenging party just brought back more knowledge from the ancient shrines. Hey, and that spore cloud is gone. Sweet. So she's probably going to wake up pretty soon. And then we'll get a move on there. You know what? I might add a couple more water air wells in. Because if... Yeah, I might add a couple more air wells. One, two... Yeah, we'll do that. Because our air wells are not 100% full. And we're about to head back into the desert. So I just want to be ready. But all right, there we go, guys. Okay, so even though we almost had a thunderstorm destroy everything, I am really relieved to see that news doing okay, and we should hopefully be able to get past the spore cloud no problem now. Let's go ahead and give her a little pet for being adorable and get a move on. 
I just love the idea that we just passed through this huge pass that was just full of all kinds of ancient ruins. And I am going to go ahead and start keeping track of the lands that we go through and a little bit of the lore, just because I love doing that. And naming those places after your guys' suggestions or your guys' names. So if you guys could leave ideas or hints or just ideas of how to expand and build the world together down in the comments, it will make it even more fun and engaging. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands, thousands, over 10,000, pretty proud about that, uh, adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.